So if you do any off-roading, you've got to get used to the idea of getting bogged. It happens to everyone. It's not a big deal, believe me. One of the reasons people get bogged on beaches on beach sand is because they don't drop their tyre pressures. But if you have dropped them and you still get stuck, then maybe it's time to use these vehicle recovery tracks. We've got the Everest here bogged on purpose to show how to use these things. So vehicle recovery tracks or boards or devices, whatever you want to call them, they look like hard plastic snowboards, but they're not. What they are essentially are pieces of mini track to give you grip to get out of a situation in which you're stuck. Now, what they've got on top are cleats for your tyres to grip onto. They've got handles for you to hold onto, a leash for you to throw out when they're buried in the sand so you can find the things. They're made of reinforced nylon, so pretty tough. They're not that heavy, they're about three and a half kilograms. These are Max Tracks, an Aussie made brand, but there are Tread and Tread Pro and many other brands. So first things first, you need to decide which direction you're gonna go in. Do you wanna go forwards or backwards? We're gonna go forwards because we're on a bit of a downhill and that'll help us get the momentum to get out of the hole. Now the great thing about vehicle recovery tracks is they come in pretty handy even before you've wedged them under your tires to drive out on. Because if you flip them like this, they become a bit of a shovel. Now it's not ideal, it's not a long handled shovel and it's not your own arm you can really get in and gouge that sand out from underneath your car. But it's a shovel nonetheless and it'll help you get the job done. So once you've finished clearing that sand away with your hands and with your vehicle recovery tracks, flip them around because you want the cleats, the ramp side up so those tyres can get a good grip on it on their way out and you wedge them right underneath the tyres. So don't be shy, wedge them right under there so the tyres can get a good grip on them. So while you're there, pack some sand in underneath the vehicle recovery track as so because you want the tyres to climb up and out. You don't want it to be flat, you want to give them that extra bit of help, get a bit of grip at the start, and out you come. Now if you think it's going to help you, feel free to drop your tyre pressures. We're not going to because I think we should be alright. Remember to avoid going below 10 psi, I'd stay above that if you can. The other thing is, any vehicle recovery operation can be potentially dangerous, so make sure everyone is cleared out of the way, well out of the way, and safe. So, put your seatbelt on, make sure your vehicle is in four-wheel drive low, or whatever the equivalent is, and get ready to go. Now what you want to do is you don't want a heavy right foot, you want to keep your revs down, you want to avoid wheel spin at all costs. What you want to do is you want your tyres to grip the cleats on those tracks and creep up, creep up, creep up, along the tracks and out of the hull. Off we go. So if you feel your wheels spinning, stop immediately. Get out, reposition those tracks, and then have another crack at it. You don't want to be sitting there spinning your wheels, wrecking your vehicle recovery tracks, and not going anywhere. So if you can't use your vehicle recovery tracks to get out, then it might be time to consider a snatch strap recovery. For that how-to feature and many others, just go to carsguide.com.au. Too easy. <laughs>